Reports of Indiana Task Force One are back home tonight. They spent 10 days helping with the search and rescue efforts here in Maui after the wildfire earlier this month. That wildfire, as you know, killed 115 people, destroyed 2,000 buildings. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman shows us what the first responders experienced there in Maui. 70 Indiana Task Force One members spent nearly two weeks on the ground in Lahaina assisting in recovery search and identification efforts. And in that time, they say it was both emotionally and physically exhausting. This was definitely something that I have not seen in the 14 years of being on task force. Brandon Klein was one of 70 team members deployed to Maui earlier this month to help with recovery efforts after one of the deadliest wildfires in United States history. You see what people's lost when they've lost everything. I mean, just everything. These people had nothing left, nothing. It was both an emotionally difficult and physically draining experience for the 70 Indiana Task Force One members, with search and rescue efforts happening nearly around the clock. The physical part is also a huge, huge drain on our guys when you're working, you know, 14, 15, 16 hour days in the heat and just it's nonstop. Members say the search process was extremely thorough with an exact footprint of every single building, house and business they looked at for any indication of human remains. It's not always easy to to have to deal with the loss of somebody, but when you know that you have them recovered and back with you so you can properly move on to that and, and start your healing process, I think that's huge. Now, as Task Force One members finally return home, they return with the hope of leaving a lasting impact as Lahaina slowly begins to rebuild. The locals were very uh, happy to have us there to help work them through this process um, because you can't get past this and into the recovery phase until they've done this. Back in Maui, officials say they've covered 99% of the burn areas and now they'll do a final few checks before finishing. Reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News. Hannah, thank you.